ping pong balls. Hello, chickies. What we're going to talk about today are the ping pong balls going off in our heads and how to control it. So here we go. Did you know that of all my fly babies, I don't have anyone who was born organized? Not one. Did you know that I wasn't born organized? Nope. Did you know that a large percentage of my fly babies have not been diagnosed with ADD? Have not. Did you know that I am not a doctor, a psychiatrist, or a counselor? Nope. But I'm 63, I've lived a long life so far, I've had lots of experiences, and I'm going to help you anyway. Okay. We have ping pong balls going off in our head because though we have not been diagnosed as ADD, we feel like we might be. And so when we have an idea, we can't hang on to it because another ping pong ball knocks it out. In fact, my, my daughter calls it um, the squirrel syndrome, which we all know squirrel, but we have nuts. So we store our ideas in nuts. And we say, okay, I have a nut. I'm going to talk to you about this nut and this nut and this nut. Don't let me forget. So when we're walking together and we have all this chatter we want to do, we can't forget our important ideas. And it helps us. So that's how we kind of store our ping pong balls when we're walking. But in your everyday life, I'm going to help you with storing your ping pong balls. And that would be to get a planner, a journal, or even a little notebook to keep in your purse. And write your ideas down as they come to you. So if I'm brushing my teeth and an idea comes to me, I have to stop, run to my room, my office, which is right next door, and write it down. And you know what's the most amazing thing about that? Once it's on paper, I don't have to think about it anymore because I trust that I have it in a spot where I won't forget. And so I don't have to deal with it. And I can take one idea at a time and work it all the way through. And you know what else is exciting about that? When I look at the list, it's not as big as it seemed in my head. It's not as big. And I can prioritize it because everything seems important when it's bouncing around in your head. So if you have it on paper, you can say, oh, well, I could do this first. And then you do that and you mark it off. And then when you have some more free time and the, and, um, the inclination to do so, you can mark off another one. And you have all week to get it done. Or if it's in a monthly plan, you have all month. You have to put them in the right spot. Um, a great idea is to keep sticky notes um, in places like in the bathroom or in the car or at your desk. So you can write little notes when you think of the ping pong balls and you don't have the time to run, go put it in your planner or your journal. And when you do, you can just stick the sticky note in there and later on transfer it over so it make it a permanent record for the week or the month. I thought that was a fantastic idea. Thank you very much, Julie. Julie gave me that idea. Anyway, do write down your, your ping pong balls, your thoughts, and make sure that, um, that you're getting those things on paper. I think it'll really help you. I hope you have a great week. Let me know how you do recording your ping pong balls. See you later. Bye.